My name is Justin Van Leeuwen. I'm a photographer from Ottawa. Ellen Crom has flown me into Toronto to try out the new battery powered unit, the ELB 500 TTL. We're taking an Uber out to Guild Park to take some environmental portraits. There's gonna be some challenges today. I got one battery. It's a little cold outside. Uh, we got full sun today. It's gonna be harsh light. So we've only got an hour and a bit. We're gonna have to work pretty fast, but the ELB 500 is a TTL flash. And when I go in and set something to TTL, it should pop a flash and I should get a good exposure kind of right off the bat, which could get me where I need to be for shot maybe. So I'm hoping for that. Hey. I'm Justin. Daniel, how's it Dan? going? Dan, can I call you Dan? Sure. Yeah, and you're Anastasia, right? Nice to meet you. Anastasia and Daniel showed up uh, and we started uh, at this formation of concrete blocks. Uh, I used it as a background to position the two of them uh, back to back, so I needed more depth of field. Uh, I needed to stop down to f6.3, f8, use a lot of power on the flash to fill them in. The sun was coming from behind them, give them a nice rim. Very cool. Let's give me a readout of 3.2. I'm not even using half of the power. That's kind of cool for me, so geeking out about it. One of the shots we did where we had the two subjects there, I started off in TTL and I wanted to tweak it manually. So I switched it to manual and the ELB 500 kept my setting. So I knew exactly where I was at and I was able to change that in small increments from there on. It saved me a ton of time. Then we moved into a full shade shot so I could really just control the lighting. Uh, I used both asymmetric lights for that and I was able to individually control the power of them so I could get a punchy key light on them and then I used the big octa for fill and with that I was just doing single portraits a bit wider these are good layout photos good for websites it's a little cold today and I knew that we were going to be operating at the higher power output of the flash and I was a little worried that the cold and the lithium ion wouldn't hold up but I shot about 200 frames and in that the battery indicator hasn't gone down one bit. I covered maybe 800 meters going there to there to here. Because it's all self-contained I was able to just kind of pick it up and go to exactly where I needed and just move and chase the light in the background. So it's a bit windy here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the stand down and we're, since we're going to do one shot at a time, I'm always going to get one of you to hold on to the stand so it doesn't blow over, doesn't hit you, I don't lose Problem it. with big modifiers out in the wind is they kind of act as sails. And one thing I've always liked about the Ellen Crom units is the battery pack is separate from the head. And so you get this weight that you can pull down on the stand. It just counters a bit of that force. So hopefully we don't damage our subjects, but I haven't lost anyone yet. Here, can you stand right here? For the third shot today, we used uh, Lake Ontario here as a backdrop, and I just wanted something that was almost painterly. I went super shallow depth of field, wide open at f2, super high speed sync, like 1 6400th, and it was just a pop of light on their face and just blurry, beautiful blue background. And another advantage of that is when I'm shooting at half power, I get a really fast recycle time. I can shoot wide open and just pop, pop, pop. The flash just keeps recycling and hitting every time. The ELB 500 heads with an adapter can attach to all of the Ellen Crom mods. Big 135 centimeter octas to smaller 100 centimeter soft boxes. It is the same size as the old quadra heads, but in the past you always had to make a decision. You had to pick an A head or an S head or a high speed head and they all did different things. But the new heads do all of that all in one and you don't have to change any settings. It just exists for you. I was pretty pumped about the shoot today. I love new tech. I love trying new things. This new Allen Crom ELB 500 TTL just kind of nailed everything I needed it to do out of the park. 